Hi friends, welcome to my channel. This is Gopi Chandran. So today we are going to discuss how you can make monthly income from stock options. So before getting into this video, let me just tell you, I have made two strategy videos and first strategy is a monthly income strategy which can give you monthly returns and the second one is a weekly income strategy. So if you are willing to purchase these two strategies, I will give my number in the description. You can contact me in that number. So let's get into the strategy. So so for getting monthly income from stock options first you have to do covered call okay so we are going to discuss two things first is covered call covered call and the second one is this is first one the second one is option wheel strategy option wheel strategy okay these are the two important things which can give you monthly returns. Okay, so let's see what is covered call. For example, if you have Infosys stock, let's assume that you have Infosys stock of 600 quantities. There is one rule in this strategy, in this covered rule, there is one rule. Okay, in this covered strategy, there is one rule. You have to have 600 quantities of Infosys. That means if you are doing this strategy in Infosys, you have to have 600 quantities. Why you have to have 600 quantities? The lot size of Infosys is 600. Okay. So if you take the example of Reliance, if you are having Reliance, you have to have how much quantities? You have to have 250 quantities because 250 is the lot size of Reliance. So you have to have the proportionate quantities as options. So let's assume that you have 600 quantities of Infosys. What is the price of Infosys? Infosys now the Infosys price is 1650 okay so first what you have to do is you have to have 600 quantities of Infosys okay let's assume you have bought it at 1650 so every month what you have to do is you have to sell sell call option okay so how you will sell this call option you have to at the starting of the month you have to check which strike has the most open interest for example if you check at the month uh, this is what this is august okay so first august you already have infosys with you okay you have bought infosys at let's assume 1600 now you have the stock with you what you have to do you have to first see on 1st August, which strike has the most open interest? Now let's see 1700 strike price have got the most open interest. Okay, you have to see the open interest data and according to that you have to make the purchase. So now you have to sell call option of 1700. Okay, so let's assume 1700 ka call option is 10 rupees. So what is the lot size 600 into 10? So you have to sell at 10. Now let's see what happens when Infosys price increases. When Infosys price increases, you will get the benefit from this, this call, right? Not this call, you will get benefit from the stocks because your stock prices will go up. And this profit you will get the profit okay but there will be a limit to this profit because what happens when it reaches uh, 1700 when it reaches 1700 it will be 20 or uh, 30 let's assume whatever the price it might be so you will lose some points here but what happens when the price at that month closes at 1700 if it closes below 1700 what happens you will get this 6000 rupees plus the profit from the stock right you are getting the profit from the stock so if you sell the call option what happens is you get the premium you get the premium received because you are getting the premium right you are getting the premium received and if 1700 is out of the money what happens you get this entire 6000 rupees plus if the uh, if the price have gone only to let's assume uh, it have reached only 1680 okay because what we are doing we are selling the highest open interest strike price right now let's in this case we are selling 1700 strike price so we are getting the maximum benefit when the stock price goes up and when it reaches the this level so we will make small loss it is not a loss because we will be making profits from the stocks a small loss on this side will happen when it crosses 1700 and it moves to 1750 and 1800 
anyways we will be making good profits from this stock options so in this strategy every month you can sell call options and the next scenario what happens when the infosys stock price goes down we will definitely get this 6000 rupees every month so every month for example in infosys if you have stock worth 600 quantities you have to sell one call option okay and in if you have in reliance you have to sell reliance call option you have to see which uh, strike has got the highest open interest and if it goes down every month you are getting this premium okay this is what you have to do every month to get income from the stock options now let's see the second way which you can get monthly income from the stock options same we can take the case of infosys okay infosys in this case we are discussing about option wheel strategy okay so option wheel strategy this is what we are going to discuss the second way wherein you can get income from the stock options what is the lot size of infosys the lot size of infosys is 600 okay in this strategy you have to have 10 9 for getting this you if you had 600 into 1650 you have to have almost uh, 9 uh, 9.5 lakhs of capital with you okay so you have to have this much of capital to get into this trade so once you have this 9.5 lakhs with you you can generate monthly income from the stock option so i will show you how you can generate this income for example you have to have this amount in your account okay so what is the price of infosys 1650 i am assuming that i am ready to purchase infosys stocks when it goes to 1600 okay i want it at this price i am not willing to purchase at this price because i have money with me but i am not ready to purchase at this price okay so what i will do i will sell 1600 put option sell okay so first you have to sell put option of infosys at 1600 now if the infosys price doesn't go to 1600 what happens this is out of the money okay in one month let's assume this is august so on uh, august month it doesn't go to 1600 it is uh, it went to 1000 from 1650 it went to 1680 okay the, the, that's what it closed now we get this uh, let's assume the price of this is 10 rupees okay so 600 into 10 we get 6000 rupees we have not put this uh, 9.5 lakhs capital with this we are getting uh, 6000 rupees again we are doing this on same exercise we are doing on september september also if it doesn't go to uh, 1600 we are getting again 6000 we have not put this much of capital uh, i think almost uh, we need a margin of 2 lakhs to uh, sell one stock options and keep it delivery infosys did not come to 1600 levels so we get we got almost 12000 rupees but in october october month this went infosys stock price went to 1600 so now you have to purchase purchase infosys stock infosys stock at 1600 okay you have to if it reaches uh, for example 1610 almost to close to 1610 you have to book uh, profit or loss what is there in this uh, the put option and you have to take the full delivery of 600 quantities at this price okay 600 into uh, 1600 this is what your purchasing rate will come so you have to purchase this stock at 1600 now you have to listen very carefully once you purchase this stock you have to sell you have to sell sell call of what now we have got at 1600 again you have to sell at 1700 or 1650 let's assume in this case we have done at 1650 okay you have sold a call of 1650 at same rate let's assume 10 rupees now again the next month next month what happens so we have purchased here we have sold call option after that the same day we have sold the call option next what happens 
target did not achieve we are again making profit we are making profit of this call option okay so finally uh, after this is what October month this have happened and you are making every month profit November month you have made profits December month you have made profit because it does it, it, it did not reach at this level again it went down so uh, you are making profits by selling call options finally let's assume at the month of January the price reached at 1650 now you have to book you have to book profits on your stocks and your call selling if it is profit so you have to book the total profits okay and again you have to repeat this exercise you have to start from the basics you have to start from the start what we have done 1600 ka put option now the price is 1650 right you have to sell 1600 put option so this is a option wheel right this is a wheel it looks like a wheel right that is why it's called wheel strategy option wheel strategy so these are the two ways wherein you can generate monthly income from or stock options you have to have the amount to take the delivery of the stocks in this option and in the first option covered call you have to have the capital and you have to have the stocks with you so you can sell call options every month and you can generate monthly income thank you all thank you for watching this video please subscribe to this channel thank you